Good afternoon, it's Martin Staunton with another Facebook video status update. Um, making this one real quick. Um, my fingers are tired. I didn't feel like typing. So, um, just finished, um, you know, the little bit of lights that I was going to put up outside and the decorating. And um, Nisha helped me with that. Mimi wasn't feeling so well, so she laid down and um, still is doing so. Um, wow, I got a message earlier today from a um, former colleague, but not in the field of broadcast journalism. Um, when I first started working in Charleston as a reporter, um, I had to supplement my salary. And for a short time, um, well, actually not so short, couple of years I actually worked as a bouncer <laughs> in one of the nightclubs just off Capitol Street there on the boulevard and then another job that I had that was a second job in addition to my reporting duties was as a telemarketer and um, one of the ladies that I worked with there um, reached out and said hi and um, but also reminded me of a story that I'd forgotten all about <laughs> well not really forgot about it's one of those things you know that you push out of your mind but um I thought I'd share it with you as I rest from um, the outside decorating. I'm, I'm going to post some pics of some of the stuff that um, I stuck outside and um, let you check that out. But um, anyway, this story is about me meeting my brother who had made some new friends when we first moved to Manhattan. And um, they wanted to meet at this um, club that's in a area of Manhattan called Alphabet City. The way Manhattan is laid out, it's a, you know, pretty much a pure grid system. The streets are numbered, and once the numbers run out, that's when they start letters. And on the lower east side, when those letters start, that little neighborhood is called um, Alphabet City. And at the time, there was lots of like punk rockers, new wave, that kind of genre of folks in that neighborhood in those type of clubs. And I hadn't been there, but I'd heard about it. And um, so when my brother said to meet him at this place, I thought, okay. So I do, and his friends are there, and, you know, we get a table, and we're having a good time, and this place is called, like, the Pyramid Club, or the Pyramid Bar, or the House of Pyramids, something like that. But you know what? I didn't see any pyramids when we went in there. What they had were, like, these women dancing on tables, and then there were, like, bars around the tables where the ladies were dancing. And um, the table that we had got was not one of the tables that actually had a lady on it dancing but it wasn't a strip club don't get me wrong it's not a strip club it's, the ladies were actually it's weird they were liking like evening gowns and stuff and, like doing this kind of i don't know it was not erotic in any way it was just kind of weird so we're having a good time we're talking i'm talking about you know these ladies dancing but one of them really keeps staring at me and she is gorgeous high cheekbones petite little nose lips eyes she was very pretty and um long dark hair and um red dress red kind of sequin it was a nice dress and it had this split that went up forever and so <laughs> you know i keep catching her looking at me and me looking at her me looking at me and um you know my friends my brother's friends start teasing me about it and I mean, i'm not shy at that point i was not shy you know all of my shyness about approaching women, gone at this point in my life. I was focused. And so I had no problem going up. And, you know, I would ask her for a number whether she was dancing or not. So I go up, I have a seat around this table, and she is watching me, and I'm watching her. And, um, you know, I say, what's your name? And she says, George. And I say, really? I'm looking up at her. I'm like, George. Is that short for Georgia? She says, no, it's George. So she's dancing and dancing, and she makes her way around to where I'm sitting. And at some point when she's walking, I, you know, I'm 20 years old, single, you know, I'm looking to see how far up this split goes, and good gosh, it goes way farther than any split should go on any dress that's not involved in a porno. Because as George makes his her his way around i realized when i'm looking at the split like what is that oh my goodness if i was white i would have turned so red because here comes george and george really is george but with breasts 
I'm from Oak Hill, West Virginia. I'm 20 years old. I never saw anything like that. I know men could grow breasts. 1985, Lord. And um, so um, I immediately, you know, start backpedaling. And George is interested. But, um, yeah, it was really hard to um, kind of get away from George. After that, we had to leave the Pyramid Club. <laughs> you know, uh, but yeah, she mentioned that story and how every time she thinks about it, it makes her laugh. I told her I hadn't shared it with you guys in writing because it's a little racy, but um, it is funny because, you know, you know, they say you can't judge a book by its cover. I had never heard the word transgendered <laughs> before that, um, b b before my encounter with George, you know, it was like, what was that? I was like, okay, okay. But uh, I'm doing good. I'm going to show you some video of the um, show you some video of the Christmas lights here a little bit later, and um, I'm going to take the time to thank you again for all your prayers and support. Love you guys, and I'll be checking in with you a little later.